Question 1. DS. If A times B equals 2, A equals what? Condition 1. B equals 2. Condition 2. A plus B equals 2 plus A. Solution. Now we will solve this DS question using the variable approach. Tip 1. When the value from condition 1 and the value from condition 2 are the same, D would be the most likely answer. Wow, this is very important. You should definitely memorize it. Let's apply the three steps suggested previously. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We have to find the value of A if A times B equals 2. Let's look at the information from the question prompt or the original condition. The answer to this question will be in terms of a unique value of A, and therefore, we apply CMT2, which means that the number of answers must be 1 to this question. Follow the second and the third steps. From the original condition, we have two variables, A and B, and one equation, A times B equals 2. To match the number of variables with the number of equations, we need one equation. Since conditions 1 and 2 will provide one equation each, D would most likely be the answer. Recall three principles, choose D as the most likely answer. Therefore, let's look at each condition separately. Condition 1 tells us that B equals 2. Substituting B equals 2 in the original condition, A times B equals 2, we get A times 2 equals 2, or A equals 1. Since the answer is unique, the condition is sufficient by CMT2, which means that the number of answers must be 1. Condition 2 tells us that A plus B equals 2 plus A. We can cancel out A from each side of the equation to get B equals 2. Substituting B equals 2 in the original condition A times B equals 2, we get A times 2 equals 2, or A equals 1. Since the answer is unique, the condition is sufficient by CMT2, which means that the number of answers must be 1. Doesn't this make everything so much easier? Each condition alone is sufficient. So, D is the correct answer. Also, according to tip 1, if both the conditions give the same value, A equals 1 here, the most probable answer is D. It's about 95% likely that D would be the answer when the value of condition 1 is equal to the value of condition 2. The answer is D, because condition 1 is equal to condition 2. Answer, D.